Hello and welcome back to the season finale and holiday spectacular of the Great Debate. It's also the championship matchup. This is going to be pretty good because we have, to my left, we have Brian Newbert, Brian Pubert. Uh, check him out. Yo, what's you up? have been on multiple times. You have a lot of experience under your belt. Uh, even though you won once, you still have been on the show countless times, more than anyone has ever been on the show. Only However, been to the final round twice. This yeah. is my second time. However, so I'm going to ever to my right, we have Professor Winkler, who is the biggest fan of the Great Debate. Wow. So you've been on it multiple times. He's seen you every time, plus more. How's I'm, that? I'm so, undefeated. Und yeah, he's never missed a question. Actually, he is my biggest fan since I've been on here more than anyone else, other uh, than yeah. The so we'll see. I guess. One more thing to add to the prizes. You will get, one, this tiara. Two, you will meet Santa Claus. Three, you could be crowned the biggest fan. We have currently the biggest fan, Professor Winkler. But it could be Brian Newbert, uh, the underdog. Uh, our first question is the war on drugs versus the war on Christmas. Uh, war on drugs, obviously, because if you think about it, yeah, war on Christmas, people's feelings are hurt. But what are hurt when you do drugs, all right? Not just feelings mm, of family okay. members and loved ones, but yourself. You're hurting yourself. And uh -huh. that's what really matters during the holidays. Okay, right. <sighs> no drugs on the holidays. Yes. No drugs that's on Brian's, the holidays. That's I know Brian's that ruins mother, Winkler's holidays. <laughs> aren't some of the greatest Christmas stories improved on drugs? by drug use? Yeah. I mean, come on. Why? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our Party. brains for a long winter's nap. Yeah. How do you settle your brain, Brian? Oh, drugs. you're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, so Christmas is great on drugs, right? But I thought you were debating against Christmas, Mr. Winkler. Oh, no. So it's why not did you just Christmas. support Christmas uh -huh. and drugs, sir? So you are the yeah, why definition is... of the devil. They should just Photoshop two devil horns sticking out of your ears, Mr. Evil. They call me the Grinch. Well, you didn't let me they finish call because you here Satan. the issue is I was coming back around to uh, right, right. drugs make Christmas better, which is uh, why there needs to be a war on Christmas. Christmas uh, cannot continue the way it is. It is flawed because beyond Mr. Winkler belief. is addicted to drugs. I mean, and every are, Christmas season, we he are has to promoting do drugs. the right. use of elves and guys that uh, are clearly overweight. <laughs> With too much facial hair, it is gone. Have you ever? Go. Okay, far. Santa is not too on far. drugs. You want to know why? Because have you seen people on drugs? They're yeah. skinny. All right, okay. people on meth. Uh, they yeah. are skinny. They are not fat. He is jolly. Alcohol is he a drug. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, alcohol is a drug. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, and you can. And he's drink. smoking a pipe. We don't know what's in the pipe. That's true. Actually, when have you ever seen you can Santa ask him. smoke a pipe? Please tell me that. Oh, I've hmm? seen. Yeah, for what? sure. What? Back when Every you were a kid, what, when Jesus was around. That exists? Huh? Hey, oh. Is that when the last time you saw hey, Santa smoking oh. a pipe? All right, huh? I'm going to have to uh, cut this short. Like the 1750s? Uh, first, <laughs> first round, we had vulgarity from Brian Newbert. Second round, we had lying from Tom. And the third round, we have drug use from the biggest fan. <laughs> drugs are uh, bad. Drugs are bad. Lying <sighs> is bad. Vulgar mouths are bad, OK? Uh, so I'm going to have to give it to Brian for this one. Uh, yes. You're a cool guy, Chris, but uh, no drugs, please, on the green <sighs> spot. <laughs> uh, what do you think this is stacked with? All right, his drugs. This? He's smuggling it. This? No, this is my podium. I don't do drugs. Brian, I don't do drugs. Yeah, you're right. Just, 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 I don't know. Tell him later. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll. All right, second <laughs> question. <laughs> second question is ice skating versus ice hockey. Which is the better winter sport? I ice know hockey. what the no, yeah, ice exactly. hockey. I was going to say, I know exactly what the Grinch is going to pick. The non-romantic ice hockey. All right, because uh, uh, he has no love in his life. No one has oh. ever loved him. No one has ever <laughs> hugged you, have they? Have After they? the show, I will not go to Santa right away because I'm going to win anyway. I will oh, give you okay. a hug because obviously you've never had that warm feeling of skating on the ice, holding the one you love, and feeling great about the holidays. You'd rather hit something and uh, do drugs. Right. 
the spirit of Kwanzaa has really changed you from round one. It really has. <laughs> First round, you were lost. Now you are found on the great debate. So what yeah. happens you, if you buddy. don't have someone to go ice skating with? Yeah, you true. can get all of your buddies together and check yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, up yeah. against the wall. Right. I mean, this continues from the idea of the snowball fights from my previous ah, round. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. something you've always wanted to do and, and, you know, get violent around the holidays. Sometimes the family is just too overbearing and you got to let off some stress. So ice hockey. You get a puck, you get a stick, you're ready to go, set up some goals and uh, basically own the ice. Who and, needs and ice And hire skating? some friends, because obviously you don't have enough to pull up a team, do you, Mr. Winkler? Why? Because you are Mr. Grinch during the holidays. Uh, you can go one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you can take true. shots on goal and yeah. feel good about yourself when no one is blocking the goal and hit every single one. It's an uplifting uh, experience. Okay. I'm hey. sure it is. <laughs> All right. uh, I've done it. I hate it. I think... It is, because I'm giving this one to you. Professor Winkler, Sweet. biggest fan. Uh, so now, this is for all the mar marbles, boys. This is for Santa. This is for biggest fan. This is for uh, the tiara, of course. Don't forget about the tiara. Uh, this I wore is also, that thing last time. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty sweet. So Do did not I. forget that pretty it sweet. also means you are the new champion until next season, the end of next season. So you get that title as well. This is a pretty stacked question. Uh, I like I said before, we, we had some, some problems with the holiday spirit. So I think the, the best way to change this, turn it around, is for a sportsmanship round. Uh, and what that is, is you have to argue why Brian should win. And Brian, you have to argue why Professor Winkler should win champion. Have so you please. seen this guy? All right. He's got like 80 years of experience under his belt. All right. The guy is a uh, genius. He's the nicest man I've ever met. No matter how much I screw up, he's always there to teach me something new, even if it is a day late. He is the greatest. He is the jolly green giant, in my opinion. Okay, all right. And I will let him talk. Which oh, great, very watch. gracious of you. Oh, Brian Newbert. What can I say about Brian Newbert? Such a fun-loving, friendly, warm, helpful young man who is so confident in his ways that he makes sure that he says the right things at all times. He uses an inside voice whenever possible just to make sure that he is courteous to everyone and everyone around him. Right. He's very comfortable in walking around his surroundings, as in today, where he's going shoeless. Yeah, I mean, a, quick, a man like, who is going, shoeless look, has confidence. Little... Confidence is important to live your daily life. And I think this embodies all that it is Brian Newbert and and Brian Newbert, you are my hero. You are my hero awesome. too. And even with your heavy sarcasm and insulting me, even though we are supposed to be nice to each other. Oh come the on! You called me the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> uh, you're wearing <laughs> green. Yeah, Eighty years, years old. old, right? I mean, oh, no, guys, Ooh, guys, guys. experience uh, can't be measured in real years. All right, you work so. Hard. I've seen you work so ahead. hard. You, it's at least triple, all right? So I didn't call you 80, you just assumed that. You gotta stop uh, being so yeah. judgmental, uh. all right? I'm just trying to be nice to you. And you know what? That's one of the qualities I love about you. Even when you're dead wrong, you can still understand uh. that and come back and learn so quickly. Brian, you, you should deserve to, to win so much that I'm just gonna hope that I have enough cable here to kind of get up from my chair yeah. and walk over here and uh, just give you a big hug. That's what I'm talking about. This is the holiday spectacular I was hoping for. Hugging on the set of The Great Debate. And now I can say I've been hugged by Brian Newbert and I can feel better about myself because oh, of it. Great. Yes. Okay. Well, hey guys, it's, this has been a really great holiday. Uh, I think. I don't even want to know winner. Can we just call it a tie? Can we both win? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, we can't. Sorry. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't have been okay with that. We can't Something call it a tie. Something we agree on. Exactly. Uh, again, I'm trying to hang out with Santa and like too many people, it's, it's going to be awkward, okay? Yeah. Just like, it's cool, it, man. I got them all the way here. I want to hang out with them. Sorry if that's a little uh, greedy, but you know, <laughs> I think I deserve it. I do a lot of work, you know what I mean? So anyway, some of the I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to cut to the chase. We should give uh, him a hug. I will accept that offer in one second. Uh, so Brian... 
did a really good job, uh, you know, <laughs> telling me why Chris could win, but I got to give it to Professor Winkler. Uh, he deserves it. He great is a, a very elegant, well-worded uh, reason why Brian should win. Uh, I'm so convinced. Hold on, I hold on, hold the phone, hold the phone. Yeah, yeah. What's you on? know, I enjoy watching the great debate. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I kind of enjoy. Fan. I enjoy watching it, um, probably a little more than I enjoy being on it. So I'm going yeah. to decline the win <laughs> and hand it to Brian Newber. Oh, and so oh, Brian, first. you are my biggest. I am your biggest <laughs> fan. As you being a contestant and me being the viewer of Great wow. Debate. You know who the real winner is here? The one who made it all possible. Uh, Chris, come on. Hey, hey, come, come here, Chris. Here. Give me a hug, come here, guys. Mr. Winkler. Uh, it's all right. Well, hey, you're on the chair season. here. I'll give you the crown. Uh, Santa Claus is, is right back there. Hey, Santa. We've got to meet him. Uh, oh, please. Uh, and what else? What else are you getting? I forget. Uh, yeah, uh, you take I, that, I, I I'll take this. Anyway, th that's uh, it for this season of the Great Debate. Uh, you can watch the reruns. They'll probably still be on TV for a while. Knowing uh, Kurt. <laughs> so, yeah. Tune in uh, in a few months. I'm Chris Taylor. Uh, this is a great debate. Bye. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Bye.